In order to make sure that you are safe to have a transradio uh, intervention, first of all, before you go to the room, we need to make sure that your, in case there is a complication, such as occlusion of the radio, radio artery, um, you won't have any a deficit of perfusion, in other words, a good vascularization of your hand. So what we need to do here, first of all, is to have the Barbeau test and the ultrasound evaluation. The Barbeau test involves, we need to compress the radio artery and make sure that the ulnar artery is enough to perfuse, to give blood to the whole hand, including the tip of the first finger. So typically, what we have is three arteries going to your hand. We have the radio artery that gives blood to the first and second fingers and the ulnar artery that gives blood to the fourth and fifth fingers. The middle finger has a variation of the anatomy. So it can be either the radio or the owner. In addition to that, we have the third branch, which is a very tiny little one running in the middle of your arm. But the most important ones for your hand are the radio and the owner. In case we have a complication of the owner of the radio artery, we want to make sure that the, the owner will be enough to perfuse the whole hand. So Barbeau test is the following. Please take a look at the pinkish color of your hand. That's completely normal. And before we start to compress here, we need to make sure that uh, the oximetry pulse detector is, is placed in the first or second fingers. So then we can really analyze the oximetry pulse wave that is coming through the radio or through the owner. So what we need to do first of all is to hold pressure in both. And now I'm creating an external compression. There's no flow whatsoever. As you can see in the screen there, the oximetry pulse wave is irregular, is flat, the system's trying to pick up. And make a fist for me, please. Open up, and your fist, your hand is pale, and when I, once I release the owner, should have the color back again as it is, pinkish again, which shows that your hand has a complete palma arch. In other words, the radio is still blocked, your pulse wave is back, so in other words, shows that there is good blood flow gun coming to your second finger as the ulnar artery is open and there's a complete palma arch, in other words, giving blood to your whole hand. Whole hand. So in case you have an occlusion of the radial artery, that's not going to cause any major complications such as ischemia of your fingers. That is very important for safety.